Calvinistic teaching has wrongly exaggerated the effects of man's fallen condition, resulting in a misinterpretation of man's responsibility in light of God's clear revelation. Calvinists say that they believe men are responsible, but they do not mean what most people think of when they hear the word responsible, able to respond freely and thus guilty for their response, either positively or negatively, to God's appeals. That's what most people think when they think, oh, he's responsible for his uh, unbelief. That means he should have believed, and he could have believed. But when a Calvinist says responsible, what they mean is that they're, they're punished anyway, even though they were born unable to respond. So even though you're born unable to respond because of the guilt of Adam, God is just to punish you even though you are in this, this incapacitated state from birth and you're unable to willingly come to God's revelation. They do not mean that mankind is morally capable of responding to God's appeals to be reconciled from their fallen condition as what we see implied in, in 2 Corinthians 5.20 and John 3.16 and, and so many other passages that we could go through. So what is meant by dead in sin? See, Calvinists insist that man is born dead in sin and therefore corpse-like in his abilities to respond to God's life-giving truth. Therefore, according to their logic, God must bring the corpse back to life so that he will certainly believe in God's revealed truth. But is this what the scripture actually teaches? Is this what it actually says? Because the concept of this idiomatic use of the word dead throughout scripture never is implied or explicitly taught to mean incapable of responding to God in his life-giving truth. It just doesn't. I mean, even, even from their vantage point, it is just an idiomatic analogy because even from their vantage point, dead men couldn't have any reaction to the gospel, right? They would just lie there. They wouldn't do anything, right? Well, obviously, uh, unbelievers or unregenerate man do rebel against God and speak out against the Bible a corpse, a true corpse, couldn't do that. A corpse couldn't reject and be vehemently opposed to the gospel either. So the fact that he's talking about deadness, what does deadness mean in the scriptural context? Well, it means separation. It means like the, 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 the prodigal son was lost, but now he's found. He was dead. He's now alive. It means he was separated from his father in rebellion. That's what deadness is talking about. It's just like the church in Sardis in Revelation chapter 3. He calls them dead, and he says, wake up. Does that mean they can't wake up? They can't respond? They can't humble themselves? They can't repent of their, their error? No, he's saying that you're dead, meaning you're in separation from me because of your rebellion. So throughout the New Testament, we see this concept, this idiomatic use of the word dead, and it never means incapable of responding willingly to God, or it's not a removal of man's responsibility in light of God's revelation. It never is meant to uh, connote that.